As you can see, they're sturdy. If they can hold a whale, they can for sure hold your balls. Today, we're gonna take a look at that ball. Welcome back to Balls Uncensored. I'm excited about this particular comparison because I know this ball very well. It is the ball that I won my last regional with. <laughs> it's gotta push a little, and it does, and that's gonna do it, Elise Bolton will take home the title in the 2023 PWBA Cleveland Regional, her second regional title here in this building. So I've had a lot of success with this ball, so it'll be exciting to see how it compares to the new track archetype. Now this is my first track ball that I've actually drilled since college. For those of you who haven't been around since my college career, I was sponsored by track while I was at Sam Houston State University and we threw primarily track bowling balls. This was before the balls all kind of came under the same umbrella. So we, it was all track and I loved it. Back in the day when there was the 505T, the 505C, like those were my jam. So I'm excited to throw this new track ball and kind of see how it compares to the track shape that I'm used to seeing with the ball that, again, I won my last regional with, the Eternity. Love this ball. It's one of those staples in my bag that when I'm lost, I kind of bring it out of the bag to get me back on track because I know the reaction. It's a perfect blend of strong and clean where I know I can just get it to do what I want it to do. Today we are comparing a hybrid versus a pearl. Now the reason why I still think this is gonna be a really good comparison is if you look between the numbers in SPI products and the brands of Brunswick, the hybrids tend to roll similar to the pearls. Of course, we know that the cover stocks are a little bit different in the way that they're made, but I think this is a way better comparison than comparing it to the Magic Gem, which is the numbers are similar, but also a hybrid. That ball just hooks a, a lot for a hybrid. So this comparison to the pearl cover stock of the Eternity is gonna be way closer in ball motion to the archetype so that way we can get a closer comparison and it's a fair fight as always we're gonna bowl one game going in between the two balls and today we are bowling on just a house shot there was a couple of people that bowled on it a little bit earlier in league so not a lot of breakdown but we're gonna start with the eternity because I do know the ball motion a lot better I'm starting on 20 with my feet this is typically unless there's a lot of oil in the lanes and house shot where I have to start Okay, sent that super far right, came back. What I love about the Eternity is it is a ball that blends the entire lane. It is strong, yet it is also clean. And I know that's really weird, but it's very special to find a ball like that that can just do both. All right, so next we got the archetype. We're just gonna stand in the same spot. I'm gonna try to throw it as far right as I did on that one. And uh, we're gonna see if it'll come back as much. A little bit further inside, but still made it there. I'm gonna throw the same shot I just did. Okay, got it to where I wanted to. All right, got there. So that actually went a little bit earlier than the Eternity did when we sent it that far right, which still very good. A little bit higher in the pocket because it did read a little bit earlier. Most important part, picking up your spares. Off of that shot, I'm gonna move about, I'm gonna do a three and one and still try to send it further to the right. Wow, I'm really impressed with this ball. It is so similar to my Eternity, and which like I said is weird. This is a hybrid versus a pearl very similar shape things like this excite me because this is why i decided to go free agent because it's really exciting to see the difference between the two brands where one's a pearl one's a hybrid and seeing like why it makes sense why the numbers can be the same but the cover stocks can be so different but they still act pretty similar as you guys saw i was about three boards right from when i threw the eternity to start and the archetype so now i'm going to stay in the same spot and see if it does the same thing where it's a little bit longer than the archetype 
Okay, hung in that ball a little bit. As you guys can see there, I really kind of got it in and it went through it. It was a lot longer. I'm not sure if the archetype would have gotten that same thing. I think it would have read a little bit too early. So let's go ahead and do the same shot with the archetype, get it in and see if it still holds for a strike. Okay, about the same. Didn't get around it as much, but it still held a little bit lighter. That tells me it still did read a little bit earlier, but it was a little bit rollier than the Eternity. So we're going back to the Eternity. We'll move another two boards to the left. Another one with my eyes. Now we're in the oil. Starting to get a little bit lazier. Now these are the types of bowling balls I wouldn't typically use as I get super, super far left unless there's a lot of oil um, and not that wet, dry like a house shot. So if it's a little bit more blended and it's a medium pattern and you still have oil but friction to the right is when I would throw these bowling balls. I rolled that shot and it still got back and got through the pocket. Very solid. As I always say, Ball reviews are best seen with mistakes. So the mistakes you throw are the ones that are gonna tell you if the ball is gonna work well for you or kind of what you like to see the shape. So for me, my miss is, is where I'm a little bit more forward. So the fact that the ball still dug through there and got, you know, the 10 out, super good. I did go ahead. All right. <laughs> I made another two and one off of the last shot. So good, got there. It's getting a little bit lazy. Now, that was more of a lazy eight pin. That could have been an eight ten. Still overall good, I'll still take nine. We're gonna go and do the same thing with the Eternity. That'll probably make it there. Yeah, as you can see, that was a similar shot. The Eternity still dug through it because it is a little bit cleaner and saved a little bit more energy as I'm moving further left. The real test is if we can get a little bit deeper and still carry. So we're gonna throw both of them. We're like 10 boards deep. So I'm gonna make like a 10 and five and we're gonna see if we can still get the balls to go through the pins. Still almost got there. That was a huge jump from where I was. As I said, this wasn't a super, super burnt up house shot. There's still not a lot of built-in friction to the right. There was older crowd that bowled on it. So it was a lot of house balls and stuff anyways. That actually might get there. Okay. So as you can see the Eternity, because it is a little bit cleaner, it went a little bit too long before it started picking up where the archetype started to roll and kind of still got there. Obviously lazy, but having that big jump and still getting there, pretty solid. If you're someone who has thrown the Eternity or likes that particular line, the archetype would definitely be something to check out. I know I am really excited to throw this because it's going to give me that option when my Eternity is just a little bit too long and a little bit too sharp off the back that I can go to the archetype and it's going to be a little bit earlier, smoother and rolly. So it'll kind of help me control the pattern a little bit more when I get into that. Should I go to a symmetric pearl or still stay the same and try to bump my ball speed up? It gives me that option to still kind of stay in the same part of the lane and not have that overreaction that I normally get with the Eternity when I get a little bit deeper. As always, thank you to Orange Bowl for having us here and Little Pro Shop for getting this done quickly so I can come out here and shoot this video. And thank you to Brunswick and everyone who supports this channel. We can't thank you guys enough. Uh, because of you guys, I'm able to do this stuff and help the community and I hope this helps. And if you guys have any other questions regarding these balls or any other comparisons that you might have questions about, drop a comment below and let us know. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next Balls Uncensored.